one of the neatest things about this vehicle is that whenever I go to shows and um, you know to show to be to show the vehicle off and, and to promote my business, I get so much uh, so many compliments. Um, you know, you, there's a lot of Camaros and you know Mustangs, and when you go to a show and you you're the only car in the whole show that looks like this, or you have the only Buick sports wagon, um, it it draws a lot of attention. When you hear the vehicle run, it also draws a lot of attention. It has a really, really good rumble to it. I just, uh, I love the vehicle. It runs and drives great. It gets so much attention anywhere I go, whether I'm taking it to a gas station just uh, for a Sunday drive or if I'm going to a car show with uh, a lot of high-end cars. I mean, this car may look like it costs a lot to build, but it's actually, we did it on a budget. And uh, it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a fun journey. Hello, my name is Eric Miner, and I'm, I'm here to talk to you today about my 69 Buick Sports Wagon 400. The vehicle that we built for my shop to promote my business, Max Speed and Custom. And it's a pretty unique vehicle. You don't see too many of them on the road. I purchased this vehicle about six years ago with the anticipation of, of making a, a unique vehicle that we could take to shows and that would draw attention, uh, bring people to it so I could uh, strike up conversation and you know promote my business. It was originally the Dragon Wagon but now it's the Swagon Wagon so we got all kinds of swag. We got hats, t-shirts, keychains and everything that we load up in the back. What we've done first off is we've taken the 400 that would have came stock in this thing. We took it out and swapped it out with the 1970 455 GS Stage 1. Originally that motor put out about 510 foot-pounds of torque stock putting out right about 600 horse. A couple of the things that we've done and upgraded is, uh, as you can see, it sets pretty low. Uh, the vehicle is actually sitting on air, so whenever I want to drive it, I can. I have some switches inside, and we just hit the switches, and it pumps up to whatever level you really want it to. We can lock it out pretty high if you're on a bumpy road, or. Uh, but when we get to the shows, we just lower it down and give it that look. You know, we did it more for aesthetics than anything. First off with the paint, we, uh, we went with a flat orange, they call it Hot Rod Flats, and um, this is a single stage paint, so this is not a two stage where a lot of guys, are, you see the flat colors that are shot with a clear flat. This is actually a single stage and it's really resilient, hard. Uh, there's no tiger striping or anything that has went on with this paint job, but it's really resilient. Um, and what I mean by that is I can bang on this paint, I can slap it and you know I don't have to worry about people leaning against my car at a car show. This car is made to be used and that's what I wanted. I wanted something that I could drive, something that I could take to the shows and not have to worry about uh, you know young kids coming and putting their hands on. You can touch it, get in it, whatever you want. You know this is, this is a car. It's, it's meant to be driven and that's exactly what I do. You know starting under the hood. You know, basically looks stock other than the fact that of the aluminum heads and the aluminum intake. Again, a 455 big block uh, Buick motor. The wheels, they'd never really made a good looking wheel for the, the look that I was going for here. So we kind of had to take a, um, a wheel uh, manufacturer called Showcase and we kind of made it our own. So we powder coated the wheel, it originally was gray. We had center caps made and then I had my logo engraved on the inside. Now on the back, we weren't able to get the offset that we wanted to, so what I did is we ended up taking an eighth inch off the back to be able to tuck those tires and wheels underneath without actually tubbing it out. It was important for me for the vehicle to not be cut. I didn't want to uh, narrow the rear end and take away from my wheel wells in the back because this is a functional uh, utility vehicle. Um, and what I mean by that is this is a dual action tailgate which was again cutting edge back in 1969. So you can use the tailgate, it's like a truck bed. These seats that are in the back actually fold forward so you can actually have six foot of bed. Just by folding the seats down, they lock into place. And again, everything has, uh, has been rhino lined but this is actually a sound deadening material and it works really well it's nice and quiet on the inside you're able to hear the stereo that we have in here really well 
Um, so getting back to the tailgate, the dual action. Now if I open it this way, this allows me to not only get in a little closer, but we eliminated the fuel tank, which used to sit over here. And we had a fuel door on that side. The fuel tank set upright. So whenever I would fill, fill the vehicle, it would literally tilt to the left. And I, I didn't like that. And um, so we decided to put it back here, which uh, this is a, you know, our fuel cell now. And I've got our auxiliary battery back here. And then I also keep all, you know, it's a trunk. So I keep all our other goodies here, stuff to clean it with and um, just anything I need to keep out of the way. And then on the other side over here where the spare tire would normally be, we took this and made it to where um, it would hold our, our amplifier and our subwoofer. And then I also have six speakers that are kind of hidden in there. So the stereo is, uh, it's not real gaudy. It, you don't see a whole lot, but it actually sounds really, really well. Um, with this loud of a vehicle, you got to kind of have a loud stereo if you want to enjoy your music. A Vista package, you know, with the with the windows. This a lot of guys ask me, hey, is this something you guys did? And it's actually not. This is the way it came from the factory. Um, we shaved the drip rails off of it. We've uh, taken the rear door handles off only for the fact that it just aesthetically just looks better from a distance. Um, we took all the trim off, of course shaved all the holes, uh, filled in all the holes, and shaved all the, the, the little studs that came out. Um, it used to have a marker light back here we filled in. It had uh, backup lights in the bumper that we've taken out and filled in. Same on the front. We um, took the marker lights out of the front and filled those in. And we just wanted nice, clean lines. And if you look at any other vehicle out there, there's, this is unique in the fact that it, it with a Buick, it has this long, swooping, uh, body line which I love um, and it just sets it apart from all the other hot rods out there. So talk a little bit about the interior here is um, we had SoCal Upholstery. James at SoCal Upholstery is, uh, does all of our upholstery work there at Max Speed and Custom and did a really good job front to rear. I mean the interior this seat in particular had sat in my orchard for five years and had rats living in it and the only thing that was left were the springs. So I was thinking about putting buckets in it and James talked me into putting the original seat back in it and I thought, you know what, if you can make it look good, then yeah. So this is what I got and it looks amazing. I'm so happy that we did that. Um, when my wife drives with me, she can kind of snug right up next to me like old times and it brings me back to my childhood. Um, the steering wheel is a original Boyd steering wheel that I got from uh, a gentleman that actually worked for Boyd, uh, one of his machinists. And um, after Boyd died, he had had the steering wheel is in a glass case at his shop. And um, I was able to obtain this steering wheel and I knew that this was gonna be the right fit for this vehicle. So, um, it just, it, it's, a, it's a great uh, feature to, this, uh, to, my, to my hot rod here. Headliner. All the way back, it's all redone. Everything that's underneath the carpet, like I said, is uh, a sound deadening agent that is spray on, and it's been a uh, it's really it's a, a neat product. Uh, keeps things quiet in here. Um, the seat actually folds up. You get up to six people in here comfortably. Actually, it's got six seat belts. Um, I put my dogs back here, and you know. We uh, do a little tailgating. It's just a, a great vehicle to take to the shows. You don't have to bring an extra vehicle for your pop-up or anything like that. You can fit everything back there and just take your coolers with your waters and sodas. So. I didn't think I'd get this kind of reaction whenever I decided to go with the flat. All the reactions that I've gotten from the shows that we've done thus far have been all positive. I mean, I haven't had any negative comments at all. We weren't going for a rat rod look, but we weren't going for the high end, uh, you know, super street machine look either. We, we wanted something kind of in between. And again, I think we've hit the mark. It's just uh, everything kind of comes together as one.